Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video, and I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so I had a video all ready to go, but it was talking about Ashawn Robinson and, and now that he was signed and blah, 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 because license plate got tweeted out a couple of days ago that the deal was done and it doesn't seem like a deal is done. Uh, I don't know what else I referenced in that video, but maybe it'll come back around. <laughs> but I, I wanted to talk today about the guys that we went out and signed. Seems like Ashawn Robinson may be out of the picture. Still very possible that he's in the picture. I mean, I, I don't think his deal would be so much to where it would, you know, it, it would mess our cap up or anything. But for now, he's not in the picture. He came, visited, and left. So we did go out and sign Jamison Crowder and Amani Oruwareye. Oruwareye. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Oruwareye. So we went out and signed those two. And then we also signed Tommy Sweeney, uh, a tight end that was with the Bills for a little while. So three signings that are, I would say, two solid players. And uh, Tommy Sweeney is a guy who I think, uh, if, I, if I'm if i correct, I'm pretty sure he's mostly a blocker. I think he's only got like two or three catches in, in three seasons. So he's he's mostly a blocker. But Jamison Crowder is is the, the most known name on this list. And just with his stats right in front of me, he's got 100 regular season uh, games that he's played in. 51 of those were starts. Uh, he's got 4,667 yards. He's got 415 receptions. And he's got 28 touchdowns. So he's been very productive, especially with Washington. A couple of years he spent with them. He was a constant headache. Every time we played against him, he was always open. He's always in that soft spot at his own. He then went on to the Jets, where I think he got paid a little bit. Not not a huge, not a huge deal, but he got paid a little bit. And uh, he's just a guy that just gets open. A guy that, that that's been a reliable target, almost like, almost like a Sterling Shepard, except I think Shep's height was was higher than his height. But I think they're very similar, and they're just the guys that get open, guys that, that are reliable when they're on the field, but of course he's played, played a lot more games than Sterling Shepard has played, even though he, I think he played like, I think a game or two last year and, and India ended up going out for the season. So that's Jamison Crowder. He also is a guy that's been working out with Daniel Jones for years. Both of those guys went to Duke. So that's a connection. They, they might also already have some chemistry there because they've been working out for so long. They didn't go to school together, but again, they they went to the same school and because of that they've worked out in the off season so there could be some some chemistry there uh he's also a punt returner i don't know if he's going to be punt returning who's i mean he's 30 years old i think we probably would have paris campbell back there but if we think that paris is going to be a guy who's really really important to our offense then maybe jamison crowder is the punt returner even though he's 30 years old so Looking at it roster, I mean, roster-wise, we got Wandell, we got Sterling Shepard, we got Jamison Crowder, we've got uh, Jeff Smith. We got a ton of little guys out there playing wide receiver, and it is what it is. I don't think Crowder could possibly hurt this team. I think he can only help this team. That's good. He's, he's a decent player, a solid player, and uh, I think he'll be a guy that's going to be a reliable target. Now, will he even make the roster? That's to be seen. I mean, we have we don't know what we'll do in the draft. We could draft a couple of guys who end up pushing them to the practice squad or pushing them off the roster into another team. But I think it, there's nothing that 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 he's going to do that's going to hurt our team. It's not like we drafted. I mean, you know, it's not like we signed Jamison Crowder. So if we have a receiver that we have as the best player in in the draft, not that this exists, but if we have a receiver that we see as the best player in the draft, we're saying, oh, we're not going to draft him because we took, we signed Jamison Crowder in the end of March. So calm down, people. It's, 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 it's not that serious about us going out and signing a journeyman wide receiver, but I do think he has a little bit in the tank, and I do think he'll be a reliable target when he is on the field. So that's uh, Jamison Crowder. Now the next guy that we went out and signed, and I'm going to try to pronounce his name. I think I did a pretty solid job, but Amani 
Oruwariye. Oruwariye. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And uh, he's a guy that's been on the Lions. And I think PFF ranked him, rated him as, as a bad corner this past year. But in 2021, he has six interceptions. Six interceptions, uh, 11 pass breakups. So he was all over the place. I mean, th- he's a starter. He's a starter. Uh, he's played in 53 games, has 36 starts, and uh, didn't start for them this past year. But the last time he started, he had six interceptions. I think he gave up 12 touchdowns in his career. So you divide that by four, about four touchdowns a year. Who knows when most of those came, but they have him credited as giving up 12 touchdowns total. But other than that, I mean, a guy that can at least turn the ball over, a guy that can catch interceptions and make plays, he has to have a spot on your team. Again, this does not mean because we signed this guy on March 23rd that we're not going to draft a cornerback at 25. That's not what this means, but it does give you more confidence that now you don't just have uh, Nick McLeod and, and Cordell Flott and all these guys that are young players. You also have a vet coming over from the Lions who can fill in at that cornerback two spot. And uh, he's also the biggest corner you have. 6'2", 205, big guy, uh, runs well. And the reason that he stopped playing for the Lions is because they went to zone coverage. So he's a man corner, which is perfect for our defense. And I think he's a guy that, you know, if we give him some time, he may be, you know, he may be having a, a, a nice little season especially in this defense with Jerome Henderson with the front four that you hope will be getting to the quarterback. Maybe he's a guy that comes out here and surprises us. He's still a young player, and um, we'll see how it goes. Again, it's very possible that the Giants draft a player in the first two rounds that they expect to start a cornerback to, but you can never have enough corners, especially outside, inside. It doesn't matter. You can never have enough corners. So that's what I saw as another decent signing. And then Tommy Sweeney is a guy that they're familiar with. It is what it is. He's a blocking tight end. We have Darren Waller, who's not much of a blocker. He's going to be lining up at wide receiver a bunch. He's going to be lining up in the slot a bunch. And then you have uh, Darren. Darren, I was going to say Darren. We have Daniel Bellinger, who is also a guy that can block, but he's also a guy that can catch a little bit. So while you have Darren Waller, who has shown that he has been injury prone in the past, I'm going to knock on wood. Hopefully he does not have that here, but to have a guy as your third tight end, if you want to go three tight ends, you want to go two tight ends, and you need a guy who you really want to be able to block, Tommy Sweeney is going to be your guy. Is it guaranteed he'll make this roster? No, this tight end draft is very deep, but if he does make the roster, he's going to be blocking, and I think we needed that to be filled. Uh, We had a a couple of other guys that that were good blockers, but I think Tommy Sweeney is a blocking specialist, and he's going to help us out a lot. So those are the three free agents that we went out and signed today. Overall, I think Joe Shane is doing a solid job, and I think that's what my last video was about it. I referenced earlier. Joe Shane is doing a solid job. He's gone out and gotten a lot of good players. Uh, he went and got Darren Waller, who's who's your alpha, who's your, your special player, but he's gone out and gotten a lot of good players to the point to where At the very least, this team has more depth, especially a wide receiver, which has been known for everybody, four or five guys to get hurt at at a time. So good that we have that depth there. Uh, Of course, we're not going to keep nine wide receivers or however many we have, but you got to fill the team. You got to put 90 on the roster opening, you know, opening season after the the draft and everything. You're going to have 90 guys out there. Let let better players compete for the back end of those, you know, end, end of those roster deals. Let better players compete there. And I think we got better this offseason. We didn't get, you know, we didn't go from here to here, but you also don't want to bring in a bunch of high price, big name free agents who have to then come into your roster and then mess with the rest of the team. Like, I mean, Darren Waller, it is enough for me. I don't want to bring in Darren Waller and then have to bring in a, another guy who expects to be the number one target. You just you just never know how that will turn out. So I've appreciated what they've done so far. Of course, anything is on the table. Anything could happen. <laughs> you know, we could possibly be after Hopkins, even though he's expensive. We could possibly be after Jerry Judy, even though they're asking for a bunch to trade him. 
But for right now, I think we got better as a team, as a roster, and you can only keep continuing to improve that depth because that's why it's called a depth chart. You get better and better there. I think we got better at receiver. I think we got better, definitely a lot better, just by signing Okereke at linebacker. And I think we got better today at cornerback. That only adds to a, a young cornerback room. And uh, I, I think we got all around better. So you guys, let me know what you think of the moves we made today and the moves we've made so far. And have a great rest of your day. We you made it this deep into the video. Come on, just hit the subscribe button. I make Giants content primarily, draft content secondarily. And during the season, I'm going to be doing a lot of reacting to pretty much most of the NFL games and everything NFL. So if you made it this deep, go ahead and join the D6 squad.